and thank you for the follow to uh alex i didn't notice that before my apologies so uh, thank you for following your channel I, I do appreciate it thank you uh, again, I stream every Monday and Tuesday, usually Wednesdays, but just not at the moment, at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the U.S. Uh, let's bridge that. Please do that. I ended up losing my model. There we go. Okay, now we just have to do the inside ones. For this one, I, like I said, I could have put, uh, added another square, a rectangle on top and then uh, deleted the faces from the middle. But doing it this way with these squares, I always make sure that my border is the same width. And I get a nice clean um, model as well. No overlapping polys or anything like that. <laughs> Oi. It deselected on me. Polygon here. Alrighty. Uh, all I have to do now is assign that plain color we assigned to the other one again. I'm sure I was. <laughs> Concerned I may have uh, selected the wrong object here to do the texture on, but I don't think I have. I just want to get out of sub-object mode though. There we go. Okay. And then we just have to uh, attach it. Actually, I, I need to do the um, chamfer. So instead of going through and doing it individually, I'm going to see if I can do it all in one go here. Um, so I'm going to go into uh, edge mode. And I'm going to deselect what I don't want now, instead of selecting as I did before. Again, Max's selection tool is really playing up. I'd normally do a uh, rectangular selection, but it's playing up in Max.
Hey Debra, good to see you. How's things? Uh, but I don't want to select the edges along the bottom, so I'm going to go into my side view. Try to do our rectangular selection because like I said, Max is really really playing up with this rectangular selection tool. We'll give it a go though. Well, didn't do it then. Okay. And I'm just going to quickly check to make sure I don't have any edges selected that I shouldn't. Uh, like these ones here. I've been very well, thanks, Debrod. Keen to get this interior of this building finished so we can start uh, doing our cinematics, so, or at least so we can start working on our um, interior decoration next week. Before we start create, creating our cinematic. Alrighty, let's make sure we've got them all. And I haven't missed one like I have here. Uh, simply because when I throw that chamfer modifier down, if I have one selected that shouldn't be, it's going to create a an odd looking... Um, it's going to chamfer in a place I don't want it to. I know doing all this selection work is fiddly work, but uh, you really shouldn't have a hard edge like this, so it's worth doing. I do want the edges though. All right, I think we've got them all now. So let's throw our chamfer modifier down and we had settings of uh, 0.9 and 0.75. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I'm just going to collapse that stack. We will select our original uh, mosaic tile and I'm going to attach that border. Uh, let's export our file again. Where did I put this one? I think it's... No, it's not that one. I'm just got to find the folder we use for it. Take a ceiling floor, main stairs, main hall, mosaic door, tiles, no, not that one. Upper mezzanine floor, vestibule outside floor. Mez floor com. I don't know that one.
don't think I put it in here. Nope. I just have to find it, so it'll make it easier for me to re-import it then into uh, Unreal. Upper mezzanine floor, it's not that one. It is here. I know it is here. Maybe I should do it. Might, might be quicker for me to try and do a find in Max. Okay, this is where it is. Took long enough, but we got there in the end. Alrighty, let's jump into Unreal and re-import that floor section. just have to assign that brass texture to it. And save it. And there we go. And again, just helps us to, like I said, blend everything together a bit more nicely. Um, what have we got left to do? Let's do, um... Maybe we should do this floor section here, this tile uh, decorative deco sort of piece of flooring as well. Back into Max, it's exit isolation mode. And I want that piece of floor and that tile. Well, back into isolation mode. Oh. I'll just position this and then we can decide where we want the brass to be. All right, so I, th I think we want brass. Uh, we certainly want it along these inner edges here. I'm just going to jump back into Unreal so we can get a bit of a look at what's going on. Yeah, I think we're going to need it along the inner edge and I've got to, I've really got to knock back the fog in this level too, it's way too high. Uh, the inner edge, the outer edge. Yeah, inner edge and outer edge. And inner border here. So... So, inner border, outer border.
and I think we're going to need it along the outside edge too. Um, or are we? Actually, no, not, not past the edge there because that tile blends into the next two pieces either side of it. So, so not through here. There, there, there. Yep, no, that should be good. Alrighty. And you have got something. We have to do our attach. Max can be a bit nuts sometimes with its uh, zooming. We want that edge and that edge. Come on, don't do this. There we go. That one. Just need to 
to an edge along uh, this back edge here oh, and this side here actually I don't know if you guys watch, um, if you are Netflix people or not, but um, I've been getting into the new Star Trek series, Star Trek Discovery. It's pretty good. They show it on our Netflix. It's on CBS, I think, as well, if you're a, a US person. Um, but yeah, no, it's been pretty good. The, the visual effects are done really, really nicely. So that one and that one. All right, so we're not doing these edges because this is where it joins up with the uh, piece beside it for the green tile. So now we just have to assign a color. And attach it to our original floor. and re-export it. I'm just going to check what that is called in Max. Uh, best Floor H, okay. Uh, in Unreal, not Max, I mean. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to find it again. Best Floor H, that's the one we want. Uh, again, just as a reminder guys, starting from next week's stream, I'm probably going to start streaming uh, in HD. So instead of uh, 1280 by 720 that you see now, I'll be streaming at 10, uh, 1920 by 1080 um, uh, and upping my bitrate. So if you have problems viewing the stream, do remember that there's transcoding options usually available on my stream. <clears throat> so you can transcode down if you have a problem. Pardon me. <clears throat> So yeah, if, if you're finding a problem watching the stream next week, uh, just remember to transcode down if, if, if it's too much for your connection. Let's re-import this piece again. And let's assign our brass texture. Let's have a look at our handiwork. Alrighty, so let's do these two side pieces of floor, I think either side so we can say that we've finished this back section flooring. Let's exit isolation and quick save because we don't want to lose the work we've done. Uh, I was going to say where is my floor? <laughs> it's there, it's just being hidden by Max. Let's select that one. We used one piece of floor, we just duplicate it for either side, so we only have to do one, and that'll do both in Unreal. Let's isolate that selection, make a copy of our little square here, uh, and we only have to do the inside tile here, we don't have to do the outside. Did I forget to chant? I did, didn't I? I forgot. I was wondering why when I was looking at this in Unreal, it was looking a little odd. This this reflection, and that's because I did not chamfer those edges. And that's see what I mean by it looking just weird and not correct, uh, as opposed to this where it's actually been chamfered, which is the way it should look. I must go back and do that. But we'll do these side pieces first, and then we'll we'll go back and look at that. I knew there was a problem there the minute I laid eyes on it. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Let's just get these ones done. Again, let's make sure we attach them together. Uh, there, there are some interesting lighting changes coming with the new version of Unreal as well. Uh, with 4.18 when Epic released it, they're making a few changes to the um, skylight. At the moment, the skylight in Unreal uh, only has one bounce of light. The directional light is multi-bounce, but the skylight at the moment is only one bounce. So if I know people, I think Kanu mentioned he was having a problem with the inside of his rooms looking a little dark. And that's generally because the skylight is only throwing one bounce of light. But coming with Unreal 4.18, Epic are going to change that so that there'll be multiple bounces of light whenever you use a skylight. And that will help to stop the interior of your rooms getting really black. Uh, there's also another thing you can do, which I've done in my level, which I haven't mentioned because I did it off stream the other day. But uh, I've added light portals inside of each window and door frame. And what that does is it uh, concentrates the photons when you do a lighting build in Unreal. Uh, it concentrates the photons around those light portals. So it, it creates more uh, natural looking light. Bridge that. There's actually quite a few changes coming with the new version of the engine, so I'm looking forward to when they release it. Okay, now. Selected the bottom as well. I really hate that. All right. It either selects too much or doesn't select enough. See the problem, I'd normally just zoom straight into deselect, but the selection tool, like I said in Max, is really playing up.
And one more over here. Okay, I think we should be good now to do a champer. And 0 0.9. And 0 0.75. Let's collapse that. Select our original floor. Actually, before I do that, I must make sure I attach the uh, assign the right texture to it. Now we can attach it to the floor. And this one is back room floor. Let's export it. Back room floor. I think that's the one there. Yep. Back into Unreal. Uh, backroom floor, this is the one we want. And we just need to assign our brass texture. And we're good to go. And you'll see it's done it on both sides because we've duplicated the same floor section. Okay. Now I do want to fix that uh, the edging here on this mezzanine floor piece because it's not right, but let's do a quick save here. There's my cold coffee. Mm. Let's fix up that mezzanine floor real quick. which is this one here. Uh, what will be the best way to do this? I can't believe I forgot to do the chamfer on this. Um, I think the easiest way to do is I'm going to do a detach here. Da, 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 da. Where am I? Uh, just so I don't accidentally select any other part of the floor. Uh, we'll select that. We'll go into edge mode again. Let me see if I can select just what I want with that max crapping out on me. No. Alrighty. We're going to have to go through and do it bit by bit. You don't realize just how much you use that selection, uh, rectangular selection tool until it breaks and you can't use it.
All right, I think we've got almost all of them ready to go. Let's just get rid of these ones. I think we're good now. Yep, I think we're good. So let's throw down that chamfer modifier. So 0 0.9 and 0 0.75. Let's collapse our stack. Let's reattach that piece again. And export it one more time. Alrighty, all we should have to do now is re-import that piece back into Unreal. And now we have our nice uh, soft edge there, picking up the light the way it's supposed to be. Um, let's just get into position here where we can have a bit of better look at the floor sections. You see what I mean though, by just helping to lift the floor a little bit more, make it a bit more interesting than the way it was before, and give us the advantage of hiding the fact that uh, where we have uh, these two different texture tiles meeting, it helps to cover that up. Um, so yeah, not only does it help the, to lift the look of the floor, it also helps to cover up that join it is amazing how much of a difference it makes, Sniper, you're right. You wouldn't think that just adding something as simple as a little brass border like that could make much of a difference to a floor, but you can see the way it picks the light up, and when we start moving our camera, it's going to look really interesting. Uh, and, and it helps to cover up the fact that we've, we've got those two tiles there, so it covers up any texture problems like that, where two different textures are meeting. So it's a win-win, uh, and you saw that the, the polygons. It's really low polygon. You're not you're not really increasing hugely the amount of memory you're using in Unreal by adding these borders, and we're reusing the same texture over and over again for all of them. So we're not adding much that way either. So we have you know a lot of benefits with very little uh, downside. Really no downside, to be honest. But we may leave it there for today, guys. Um, I do only have, I think, a couple of more floor pieces to to uh, to add that bordering to. There's like this one, the two side ones, and the main one at the front. But we'll do that next week. Uh, it'll, it shouldn't take me too long. And then we can move on to doing the uh, decorating of the interior of the building. So adding plants and furniture. We'll do that next week, but Monday next week we'll just finish off these floor sections. Like I said, we should get it knocked out pretty quickly now that most of the work of, is done uh, and then we'll move on to decorating the interior. <laughs> Sniper says good luck with those windows updates. Yes Sniper I'll be doing that right now. <laughs> Adios Legmog. Thank you Legmog. I'm glad you like it. Um, yes I'll do the Windows 10 update now after the stream and uh, we'll see how we go. Hopefully there won't be any problems with ABS and the new update. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for hanging out with me and for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it guys, so thanks for being here and for watching. Um, I'll be back on Monday next week at 5pm Pacific in the US. Remember you can follow me on Phil Does 3D if you're not sure when I'm live because I always post to Twitter when I go live. You can follow my Phil Does 3D Twitch channel if you're not sure, I'm on a reminder that way. But my schedule doesn't change every Monday, Tuesday, usually a Wednesday but not at the moment, uh, at 5pm Pacific in the US. That's about 1 a.m. in the UK and 11 a.m. in Australia. You guys have a great weekend. I will hopefully see you guys next week. See you guys.